I want to show you real quick here is the manage menu. Okay, and if I click on the manage menu, you'll see here that I can do some things that are similar in the sense that you can add roles and features, you can add servers, create a server group, go into the properties of the server manager, but there's one particular setting right here, or one, one, one command, which is removing roles and features. You can add roles and features down here. You can also add a role to a server by right clicking on it, but you cannot remove a role or a feature by really any other way other than coming up here to the manage menu and removing roles and features. Okay, so I wanted to point that out to you. And then we have the tools menu. If I click on that, you will see what looks like, and it basically is what was formerly the administrative tools menu that we used to find in the start menu. Okay, so this is a menu that will change based upon the roles and features and the various tools that have been installed on the particular computer that you're working with. Okay, but this is why we want to pretty much work from the server manager. Okay, and the reason is because, unlike before, where maybe we would click on start and then dig our way through into an administrative tools menu to go ahead and get into some specific tool, well now, we have the tools menu straight here from the server manager. So, that's pretty much it. We've done it. We have installed, and at least on the initial setup, of a Windows Server 2012 computer.